We are legends. So we had breaking news. Of course, it dropped right after our episode. So uh, we thought we'd get on and get a little special going. Um, just with all the updates, there's just so much information that we had to get on and do something about it. Breaking news. Uh, I think we're going to start first with the Red Robin, Tim Drake. Uh, so now we have a full list of his superpowers as well as his legendary upgrades. Uh, what it... What did you see that really jumped at you? At you, um, I actually just started reading it, as you we both did, because we were recording and updating our other podcast episode that we just, it's actually still uploading as we speak. Um, and then I got to play with some of the rework characters, and we'll get into those in a few minutes. But the um, Red Robin sounds pretty awesome. It sounds like, um, also, if you all didn't hear it, we thought we'd mention, they released the their official podcast, so they talked about it, so that's why I heard some of this. Um, that just dropped like an hour ago as well. Wait, they they don't tell us anything for a month, and then they give us way so, too much information at the same time. Yep. But, but anyway, his um, he sounds like he's gonna be anti Deathstroke, anti Harley, another one. Which with the rework characters being anti Deathstroke, anti Harley, um, it seems like they really decided that everyone's been complaining enough about Deathstroke that they were gonna give us a ton of options. Um, his first ability applies buff immunity, which sounds pretty cool, and it purges buffs from the enemy. So that sounds awesome if he's invisible. His tech support ability applies true sight plus 80% turn meter to a friendly target. So you can give a, another target to be able to go around taunters. And um, it looks like the legendary upgrade is to give him true sight plus 25% turn meter. So that's that. I mean, that sounds crazy. And yeah, him and an ally both get true sight and turn meter. So, <sighs> wow. That's, Just I mean, wow. that's ridiculous. <laughs> and he's he's the paywall character, so he's going to be um, he'll be I don't know if he's going to be released tomorrow or if he'll be released halfway through the month. It depends on how they do it, but um, he sounds he sounds pretty ridiculous. But then again, we saw the same thing about Superboy, and we did we did think that. But now that you have another character that has True Sight and they can give True Sight to other people, that actually starts to yeah be, that makes it more of a viable ability. His tactical strike does damage and purge four to five buffs from the enemy, so more buff purging. They really went all out on the buff purging here. Legendary can't miss purge two buffs if an enemy is taunting or invisible. Plus two. So they'll he'll purge between six and seven buffs if they're taunting or invisible. He can't miss. And if he's got true sight on, so that um and we'll talk about Robin later, but Robin is pretty darn ridiculous and he's invisible so he's going to be a pain what, in the butt what was the speed on red robin did you see that uh 92 plus 35 so... wow don't say that yeah <laughs> yeah he's, he's up there in speed wow okay so let's see where are we at uh into the shadows if any hero is invisible at the end of a turn 65 percent chance to gain invisibility yeah so that one that's his passive so he, he pairs well with other invisible characters so and that, then the legendary also purge one debuff from each ally. No, well, that's pretty nice too. So he's buff debuff. He's he's probably gonna have low damage. I, I would imagine, imagine he has to with to this kit. He has to, right? Um, his strength isn't real high, so that makes me think that he's probably not gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, but he with his buff debuff, I find that a better kit than Superboy's stuns, right? Yeah, I think so. Um. He's, he seems like it. And giving the true sight to others seems really good. Right. Huge. And then Young Justice, 30% chance to use Sweep the Legs at the end of every ally's turn if ally has true sight or is invisible. So this, I mean, obviously this kit plays well with your your new Robin, your Clayface. Like, this this guy is going to be... Yeah, he actually even makes Superboy a little more viable. Um, he does, yeah. That's true. And then his legendary 25% chance to use Sweep the Legs twice. So Sweep the Legs, light damage and perp, two buffs from the enemy, and apply buff immunity if Red Robin's invisible. So you could use it. It's going to be like Nightwing. You can use it after every turn, possibly twice after every turn. So I'm sure it's going to do almost no damage, but purging all those buffs and applying buff immunity, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, so Red Robin uh, seems, and once again, I, th I think we were this excited about Superboy as well, but he seems like he's going to be very viable, and especially that, that kit even if he doesn't have a lot of power in his hits, 
removing buffs is, is it's going to be huge. Yeah. So let's go on to Clayface. Um, he sounds ridiculous. He's going to have to. He really does. And I know he's slow, and that's the only thing that... That's the only thing that that's going to be bad about him is his his speed. But you yeah, got he's got a max mud. speed of ninety six, so that is pretty slow. But and it's not, I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but it's slow. No, but that's what he is. He's a big slow tank. So, first ability was slinging mud, apply damage and speed down to target, and then his legendary, steal one buff from target. All right, that's already pretty good for his main ability. Yeah, if it does decent damage, that actually would be really good. Uh, then we got Roar of the Monsters, gain taunt. And apply invisibility to other teammates. Apply ten agility up to all allies. That can't be right. It, it has to be ten agility up, spread out, probably randomly. There's no way of ten agility on each person because that right? would be insanity. I, I I imagine it must be ten spread out. Okay. That's still a lot. I mean, that's really, that's a lot. <laughs> really good. So all he if he's really tanky, which I'm assuming he probably is, um, he's got well, and then his stamina. And then yeah, he's this... got a lot of stamina. And then we don't even care that he's slow because his legendary is use at the start of combat sets three cooldowns to th or sets cooldown to three use at the start of any turn if Clayface has invisibility and no taunt. So he's gonna he's gonna be like a Power Girl or a Harley Quinn. He's gonna start with taunt on. Yeah, and he's gonna and make he's, all your and he's gonna give yeah <laughs> invisibility. Oh my gosh. To I think he's gonna be insane. And his I'm looking, his hit points. He's almost got forty thousand life. Oh my gosh! All yeah, right, so then that's gonna be insane. <laughs> Mudslide, apply damage, and two speed downs to all enemies. Legendary, if Clayface is taunting, gain an overheal. <laughs> well, he's going he's gonna to be taunting at the beginning of the turn, so he's going to start with an overheal. Yeah, he's going to be ins I think he's going to, like, I mean, can you imagine having, I almost think he's going to take Power Girl's spot as your energy taunter, because he's going to start the match with taunt, give invisibility to everybody, give agility up to everybody. Uh, that, this, this guy yeah. almost sounds overpowered. I, well, there's got to be something we're missing, but well, he not, won't hit hard like a Power Girl, but he doesn't have to. Yeah, he doesn't need to at all, especially with Robin. Which we're I love the get name to. of this next ability: Stick in the Mud. <laughs> Stick in the Mud. When attacked, 55% chance to silence attacker if Clayface is taunting, which, as we know, he's going to be attacking. Legendary is also steal one positive immunity from attacker, so that's that's, nice. that's your death immunity, your. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, any any yeah, any immunities? Anything. Yeah, I mean, he's another anti death. They they went all out to counter Deathstroke. You have so did. many options now. They're finally gonna just smush Deathstroke into the mud, pun intended. Uh, Reform <laughs> got... criminal. Yep. Go ahead. Immune to critical hits when Clayface reaches zero hit points. Thirty percent chance to gain a heal. Thirty percent chance per invisible character on either side, or plus thirty percent chance. Oh my yeah, gosh, so, so he's... <laughs> every invisible character, yeah, he's going to be like Lobo. He can't die because he automatically makes everyone on the team invisible. If you try to take him out at the beginning of the match, he's got a 30% chance for every character that's invisible. He, well, he's automatically like... going to come back with 30% health. And he's just like Cyborg Superman. He's immune to critical hits. Yeah, now, and you can't even legendary. crit him. This is where they get you. Purge all bleeds and negative immunities on Clayface at the start of his turn. Bleeds will still do damage, and mend healing will still be blocked. Then the debuffs will be cleared. Okay. That's insanity. Because that's how you normally beat. Right. Cyborg stack, Superman. Stack I have a feeling the... that the free-to-play and the newer players are going to hate this character more than anyone else. Because... Well, he's not the paywall character. Well, he's the... Yeah, but still, when you have a Gear 11 Clayface facing off against a Gear 9, oh, yeah. Gear 10 team... How are you going to get through him? Because the bleeds, the bleeds are where you won these right. the, these attrition battles. Well, the bleeds still do their damage, but you're not that stack of bleeds is going to be useless because they're only going to tick once and then yeah. they're gone. <laughs> that is disgusting. Yeah, that is disgusting. Wow. Well, now let's talk about the rework characters. All right, let's talk about your precious Catwoman. I think you're pretty happy with what you got. I am extremely happy with Catwoman. She. Uh... I was super worried, as you all know. We talked about it in the last episode that just dropped. And uh, I have to say, I'm really happy with what they did. They All they did to Catwoman is they took all of her original abilities and made her better. Yeah. And she really didn't need to be better, but I'm not complaining. Because honestly, when I'm, I've been playing her uh, quite a bit, 
She's much better against Deathstroke. She's almost exactly the same against everyone else, with a slight improvement in a few areas. Yeah, well, let's talk about what they did. And Whiplash is basically the big change they made, was that on Whiplash, damage to an enemy, purge two buffs, and gain two speed-ups if Catwoman is invisible. Legendary, steal all awareness and true sight from target. If target is damaged, debuff, or death immune. Purge all five buffs from target. So, that's... Yeah, that's that's, that's really the big, yeah, that's the biggest change they made. Uh, other than that, everything's pretty... Well, and as these True Sight characters start coming out, that's probably going to become more and more It, it may be more important, yeah. You may have to have Catwoman on your teams. But um, I'll have some videos that go with this episode that <laughs> you just see me just grab all, like, 20 um, awareness off Deathstroke, which is great, because you you're not forced into having Red Hood on as the leader of your team to not be annoyed. So now you can just throw Catwoman on there, and she does the trick. Now, he still has all his strength ups, but still, that's pretty awesome. So was there any other change that we need to talk about with Catwoman? Um, the only other big one is her misdirection. When she gains invisibility that she had before, but the legendary upgrade, when she dies, she has a 50% chance to use misdirection, gain 8 evasion up, and heal herself. Yeah, and... Which makes her pretty nasty. Yeah, so half the time, <laughs> she'll come back to life gain eight evasion up and granted doesn't last really long and that heal isn't real big so it basically just gives her another turn and then you can hit her again but still that other turn i have a match you'll see on here that she dies gets to stay alive and finish killing off another character well look at that all right and then let's talk about the really big re rework here that we actually are both happy with and that's uh red or uh, robin regular robin regular robin Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne. He has... Whew, so, the biggest changes to his kit are probably the fact that now he... Let's see, where is it? Which which ability is the, it? The On the Shadow. That's the big change. Because um, he's still got to keep his silence on his big hit. He's still got to keep his bleeds, which I know some people were worried about. They were worried um, about his bleeds. But the when he does the one with the shadow ability... Instead of just turning invisible... And I don't, honestly, I didn't use him much... Before, actually, I didn't use him at all before this but now he can gain three ability and if robin's invisible he'll gain 41 percent turn meter and heal but the legendary upgrade is where he really gets start getting nutty because he'll gain one strength and one crit up per invisibility buff on the team on the team right and that's where obviously he's going to work well with all the other he's going to work well with catwoman he's going to work well with clayface and you've already used him a couple of times and, and what was the crit you had i used him quite a bit actually um he, uh, they're, cause they cap you at 10 buffs, which actually they need it. And without other invisible characters, because most of the teams I ran didn't have them, you can ramp up so fast. Because you'll open the match usually with one with the shadow, unless you want to use his um, big attack against, like, to silence DOJ or something. But other than that, um, you'll just cast that at the beginning, and then all you gotta do is kill one person. Then he uses it again, and that's the other ability we'll talk about, his, uh, his shadow meld. So it gives them a 60% chance to gain invisibility at the beginning of Robin's turn. So you can keep stacking those invisibilities because that's his, the, the key to his kit is stacking those. But on mm -hmm. Legendary, he'll use one with the shadow on enemy death. So you don't care if there's a Lobo or a... Yeah, every a time he dies, you're getting your... Yep. So you, and you stack them up real fast. You, it's like Deathstroke where he just gets crazy amount of strength ups, crazy amount of crits ups. And against Gear 11 teams, I was... Critical striking for seventy-eight to ninety-six thousand damage on his basic. That's crazy. Because his basic gives you a sixty percent chance to crit, plus sixty percent crit chance if Robin's invisible, and then his legendary upgrades fifty percent chance to gain invisibility when he uses it, and then if the char character is silenced, you also increase his crit chance. So I mean the damage just gets out of control really quick. Mm -hmm. um, so he's he's an like I actually believe it or not I'm, I can't believe I'll even, I'm even saying this but I actually have more fun with him than even Catwoman because he's just ridiculous. You got, you got a new favorite? Before. Yeah, he's just I'm having fun with him and he does so much damage. I'm using him with Power Girl and then um, I'm thinking about I I want to after the Mirror Master event that also they're doing a Mirror Master event in um, two weeks or three weeks or whenever it is but it's this month so I want to take my Mirror Master higher I only have him Legendary two right now. And uh, I think that those two will pair awesome together. So that'll be a fun, fun grouping. All right. So let's see. Is there any other news that we really wanted to talk about real quick? We had. Well, we'll just talk about the alliance pack changes real quick. The um, yep, they changed they the characters. They changed some of the characters around. 
Um, the only ones that are notable, and honestly, I don't remember exactly what was before, but I noticed Batgirl's an uncommon now, which I can't. I think she wasn't before. Medfill, John Stewart, Green Lantern, and Black Canary are all uncommons, so I'm excited about that. I don't buy those packs too often, but that part's pretty cool. And then on the PvP packs, um, I am excited that Wonder Woman Coda is a common. And then uh, we have Blue Beetle, which I don't think I need, but I know some people didn't finish that event. Yeah, and get all of I them. never, I never got them, so. He kind of stinks anyway. So most of the characters but are pretty you stinky. You used to hate uh, Re Re uh, Robin, but... True. Uh, they'll rework him, hopefully, make him better. Um, <laughs> they kept Katana in the rare pack. Um, they took out... Who was the, oh, Catwoman. But sure, she's going to have PvP and events and stuff. Actually, they have. we have the PvP thing. So Superboy is this week. Robin's next week. Red Robin's the week after. Then Catwoman is the final week. So, so you are getting a Catwoman PvP. For those of you that want to take her higher or don't have her very high. I would like to get a couple more. So, yeah, that'd be perfect. But And then they're doing Mirror Master and Shazam events on top of the Clayface. And then, oh, the All shop right. update, Gems to Essence. Yep, they're starting to get more accurate with their Gems to Essence. Still Wait, don't care. The, let me see what it actually looks like in the shop. Yeah, because they uh, do the Gems to Essence currency. Where? Okay. So you get 30,000 Essence for 200 gold or 500,000 Essence for 2,000 gold. That's a lot better than it was. Yeah. Still not great, but better. I'll do the math on that, but it definitely seems like it's improved significantly. They're getting better. Yeah. All right. Well, like we said, we just oh, want to get on one last thing. It. One Go last ahead. thing. Real quick. It did in the notes. I haven't tested it yet, but supposedly Shazam is fixed. So he will do his counterattack, and he will get his overheal properly. So really excited about that. I'm actually going to test him. Here in two minutes. Yeah, with all these reds getting popular. That's what I want to use a blue. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Well, thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. We are legends.